Hello everyone and welcome back to a Drupal Academy. In today's video, we are going to explore how to create services in a Drupal. Services are an essential part of Drupal architecture, allowing us to organize and manage reusable code in a more modular and efficient way. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, this video will guide you through the process step by step. So let's get started. Before we jump into the practical part, let's quickly understand what services are in the context of Drupal. In Drupal, a service is a reusable piece of code that performs a specific task or provides a particular functionality. They are like building blocks that can be easily managed, reused and integrated into different parts of our website. Services help keep your code base organized, maintainable and promote the principle of separation of concerns. Now I will show you the demo of how to create the services in a Drupal. That service will return the currently logged in user's name. For that we will inject the core service that is the current user in our custom service using the dependency injection. So first we will go to our module. My module name is employee. Inside the module, go to the src folder and uh, create the new folder and name it as a service or you can directly create the files inside the src folder but to separate the services, I will create the new that is a service inside this service folder, I will create the new file that is our, that will be our service so my service name is current user name dot php first start with the php opening tag and after that go the namespace namespace will be drupal slash model name my model name is employee and the service so this is the fo folder name in which this file is placed this service folder. Now we need to use the Drupal core service that is the which will return the current user. So that service name is current underscore user. This service is coming from this class, so we will use this class. Next we will create the class. Uh, our class name will be class current user name inside the class first we will declare the one variable that will be the current user service at the where and the variable name is protected dollar current underscore user now we will declare the constructor function this underscore construct and uh, inside the constructor we need to create the one variable of this class variable name will be current user Next step is we need to assign this variable to our variable that is this protected variable. So dollar this current underscore user equal to. Now we will declare one function which will uh, return the current login username. This function will return current login user name public function and our function name will be get current username and this will return dollar this current underscore user now we will check the which function will return the current login username for that go to the 
or uh, this drupal.org services page and uh, click on this class it will give us the all functions which are there in this service so now we need to return this display name of the current login user so we will copy this function and paste here so now we have created this service next step is we need to create the services.yaml file where we need to declare this service or that go to your model inside model create a new file your model name dot services dot yaml inside this services file we will declare the our service name and the uh, arguments of the that services next is the service name employee dot current underscore user underscore name next is we need to define the class with the class path so our class path is drupal slash employee slash service slash and the class name our service name current user name next is we need to mention the argument so in this class we have injected this current user on drupal core service so in the argument we need to pass that service name in the square bracket at the rate current underscore user we are getting this current underscore user service name from the this account proxy class as mentioned here the service name for this class is current underscore user so we are in, we have injected this current underscore user service now save this file now the, our service is ready which will return the current login user's name next step is uh, i will show you how to call the service right now i have this uh, employee detail form and uh, i will show you the current login user name inside the first name field so for first go to that uh, custom form inside the build function we will call that service so for that uh, dollar we will declare one variable current user service equal to drupal service and the service name so our service name is employee dot employee username copy this paste it here in the single quote now we have created the object of this service and i will declare one more variable current username and from this service call the function which we have declared in our service the function name is get current username it will return the current login username now i will pass this variable to the this first name text field so in a default value i will assign this variable now save and uh, clear the cache so i will clear the cache using the brush thus here it will clear the cache so i am getting the one error like uh, the service file is not valid it contains invalid kra services have to be added under services and parameters under parameters so we have we missed the yes from here so it will be the plural services save it and again clear the cache the here now the cache is clear and uh, go to our this employee data form i will refresh this page so it should return the name of currently login user so right now this is the anonymous user so it is showing the anonymous i am not logging here in another browser i have login with my admin user so i will paste this url here and we will check what it will return so in the this browser window it is returning the admin because i am logging with my admin user same way we 
we can get the other you know, details of the users as well like if you want to get the email address uh, get id of currently login user get account and uh, you can check all these details on this page so i will show you again if i want to get the currently login users id so i will replace this display name with the id so it will return the id refresh this page so it is now returning the id as a one because this is the admin user first user created that's it from this video creating services in a drupal might seems a bit complex at first but once you grasp the concept they can be easy to develop i hope this video has been informative and helpful in understanding how to create services in a drupal if you have any question feel free to leave them in a comments below don't forget to like and subscribe for more Drupal tutorials. Thank you for watching.